right we are live fambule mabwinguna the warmest of greetings from the tnn tv media empire today at the 14th of november 2023 me with the talk to una my name prince emil chroma um, today, a repeated broadcast now one bring come to Fambulem. Very, very significant, very essential as well. That we continue for remember the past, as the past bring we come to the present, and as we understand both the past and the present, in the inform we on the future or the direction we want for go. So this program what the air today, like I say, a repeated program, and this na being a critical stage na we nation in history, a time we define the period where we did so now, and why we for take this period very very much that man serious, so that we not go ever visit again. Within once visited us some thirty years ago, where we been get with interregnum. I uh, also want to tell Fambulem, um, say, um, um, the platform still there alive and kicking. We just kind of um, um, busy with various other things then, but we still they create content. And pretty soon then contents then they will become very much public to Una with fans, with followers, and we antagonize them, friends and foes alike, I mean. So today, I want to let we look at um, a program where I do back in um, um, 2020, that was in October, I believe, of 2020, we are to the former RUF commander and leader, he became leader of the Revolutionary United Front, that is um, um, Brigadier General Hassan Issa Sisi. We happened for the all the way in Rwanda outside the South prison time. And um, also, we'll be able to talk to Corporal Santigi Bobokanu, aka 55, another famous name during the entire regnum. Okay. And not only stop there, we talk to two other people them simultaneously. Okay. And then uh, Brigadier Maurice Calon. And then we also bring at SLA Sergeant, SLA Sierra Leone Army Sergeant Ibrahim Bazi Kamara. So, Fambule, once we warm up for this program, I'd expect to have share the program far and wide. Let everybody get an opportunity for see this program again, where we talk to General Hassan um, um, Issa Sisi, when I've been the RUF commander and RUF leader after Corporal Sebana Sanko was incarcerated. We also talked to very critical people them of that period. They, they are now serving sentences them na, um, um, na Rwanda. As a consequence of a special court will be set up for look into the crimes committed by people that we be partake um, in atrocities during in that period. What is of interest well is um, not everybody we somehow be operate on a high level, critical level, mid level, we are incarcerated or suffer some consequence as a consequence of that war day. And waiting the TRC been recommend, we know say we're not fully execute them. So you see, a nation will not fully live up to its obligation, go always, always find problems, you know, moving ahead because there are issues of um, um, trust, there are issues of confidence, and um, outside trust and confidence not there, there will always be a problem. But this is not the issue today. The issue tonight, now for listening to this interview, will be air some almost three years ago. Or three years ago, Fambule M. This is the TNT. I bring Samuel Chroma once more. I bring massive greetings to Una from the Empire. Do not touch that dial. We will bring the program come right after this. <laughs>
host and presenter, priest and Kroma, from the United Kingdom, London. Today we get a very, very special program. Oh. Usual, our programs are always special. When I say special, like every special English language. We get four guests them today with an extraordinary guest them in a different sense. But we want to make sure say, we understand where we are, but at the time for can give a glimpse of we two guests them with the host of people. But as I speak to Una now, I can show Una say we get two. Make a give Una a glimpse of these two guests there when we get, and pretty soon we will begin to talk to them about their story. So as Una look at the screen right now, Una they see two men them. We, well, some people go say in famous. And some people go say famous for different kind of reasons. But about 30 years ago, almost 30 years ago, something happened in our country and they talk about Sierra Leone. So just before I go to Sierra Leone, La had been a different thing, but on the same war situation. The war began in the Republic of Liberia, we border away on the eve of Christmas 1989. Most of we know be expecting a spillover effect way by many degrees was intentional because it was as planned an accident or coincident. But in 1989, um, some war take place in Liberia, and that war is spill over to we country. And when it spill over to the country, let's be realistic. And yes, on a place where we talk true and we speak truth to power. There were many of us where we were that worthy because one should not be wrong in call. Politics, the economics, the social, everything be rotting. People let them graduate from school jobs. People let them live by magic. Remember when Shaka Stevie made the sales like tie goats and they eat and things like that. And so many young men just idle, nothing to do. So, what do you expect in that kind of situation day? So the pick up arms, in a way I believe say, was a good cause. But of course, in every war, causes change. The agenda, they change. The objective, they change. So this was no different with this war. We come over na Sierra Leone. Once upon a time, and we be led by a man. We didn't write our house and Mark Arthur Taylor. We became subsequently the president of Liberia. So once Charles Taylor in World War Spill come over, we know say at that point in time, a charismatic known as what they say for now, Sanko, in picture on the scene at the background, I hope you know the scene picture, became the leader of a revolutionary united front, RUF. And this is about 29 years ago. Okay? But today, after I don't give you this silly background, because Boku Boku bad thing happened. Things that wake happen in a war situation. It happened at the of And these things that we happen were done by men. Man, the way at the country, they were born, of course, some foreigners they were involved, but largely commanders who were under the command of other commanders and carry out acts. We be very brutal. We um, um, and Boku Boku people, people and die I get two of them today. But we get them two people there, they get for before, two they come later. Then two they will come talk first. Then they can ask or they get message for the Sierra Leonean people there. But just before I go to them, I wonder we understand another bigger context. To, to err is human, to forgive is divine. Ever since the history of man, man has been responsible for waiting that happened to man himself. Only there were other things. Of course, it was just for the big artificial one when I'm not that. But throughout the world, if you want to go to South America back in the late 70s and 80s, it's the government and what have you. Generally, a smart from Guatemala, for example, it do boku boku bad things. Argentina do boku boku bad things. In Africa, one of the brutal 
But who about putting happen in just a few months? A million people here. So today, Rwanda has turned the curve. And now, case study will also as a nation and try to understand how they manage this one for right where they are today, where they are one of the fastest developing countries in Africa. Having said this, the quest for bringing war criminals and vicious leaders to justice, now the international justice courts, is part of a global trend where they want to hold people in for great acting of human rights. But the question I want to ask the listener is, do these trials that they hold, you know, for prosecute people for crimes against humanity, etc., we are able to secure the peace after and this goes directly to the country Sierra Leone, where even after the war, them yes, the country don't make inroads, but yet still the fabric we hold the society is still fragile. Civil conflict and repression, all the things that we don't come for haunt we country. The threat of prosecution is necessary, but the question here does it make dictator them? Uh, and then want to make a genocidal regime for be reluctant for step down when the time comes because of the threat of and take the country down. That's where we see the Republic of Liberia. Samuel Do refused to step down and, and lead the country to where it is a very good country. Will it be better for democracy if survivors could forgive perpetration and this is the topic tonight about forgiveness? Forgiveness for we own growth, for we own happiness, for this, for when we hold on to things the way at we, when they hurt we on the inside, the pain, the impact. Remember, say it gets psychological and negative impact on we health and attitude together. It harm we. In the help for them we free ourselves so that we will live it. Forgiveness, they allow me for move on without anger or contempt for seeking revenge. Because what will it profit a man to get the entire world and lose this his soul? This is difficult, it's not the way I put them because people have lost their lives, their limbs. But is it time for them we move forward? And the necessity for forgiveness, I want to have again, I want to have perspective. Because a lot of us, when they watch so, we are very religious people. And the country itself, despite the direction that we are going, we are largely a very religious and peaceful people. I believe, say, in the book of Hebrew or somewhere, I'm not too, you know, in Okron with the Bible verses, but I did know that Peter, one of the disciples of Christ, approached Jesus Christ and asked him, say, Master, how many times? Can we forgive oppressing? Jesus Christ in reply said, not seven times, but 70 times seven. I'm not good with figures, but do the maths. 70 times seven. Seven and that's about almost 500. Okay? So if Jesus Christ will come and die for his sins, he say that we forgive people, not to forgive. When he had started calling the accounts, Say people that we need for forgive. Now, in this speed, we will take forward as a nation and as a people. Ladies and gentlemen, when I give you one minute while I try to bring the people down now, we can develop the story. So, the point is that I'll be one developer. So, if you just give me one minute while I take you quickly, as soon as I can see that the screen again. We get two of the men that we want to talk to today. Another two, they come shortly. Another two, they come shortly. Okay? Now, be with me. The shows go on. This is the day and now. But the day we are going to share with you. If you can see, I don't need to show you everybody. Okay. Okay. Um, when I want to on our two days on the screen now, and I believe so on the Yagimi. On the Yagimi, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody the Yagimi.
I go first uh, begin with, so you go introduce yourself, sir, and then we go move on to the man with the, now you left, for let himself introduce himself. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever I'm at the world. My name is Sir Sanzici, I'm from the lab here, and I'm going to now. Thank you very much. Okay. So now you have a Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to annoy you with and another two the camera like I see. But this quite him. Hey, this is this is even made here because all the way from Rwanda, Kigali City of Rwanda, are two people who way some 20 years ago, I believe, were indicted as war criminals and sentenced to jail term and from home. I think they've served 18 to 19 or almost 20 years in prison. Okay, but I stand to be corrected. And the name they have Sunayi, Brigadier General Hassan at the time, a very, very powerful man. And so is the other man who just introduced himself. But I want let me distinguish two differences. For this interview today, you IUF, we represented by ex Brigadier um, General Hassan Issa Sisse and the CLU Army. They really keep distinguishing the two because one was a professional institution and the other was um, a rebel movement. So, Colonel Issa, let me begin with your story. Issa, I don't say you get story for the Salon people. But being with, when did it you to the war? Because I don't develop the story already. With me and many other people here, this war was a necessity because the country belonged to the core. The country was a failed state and needed change. Change is not be able to come out from within, it will be able to come out from without. But later on, the agenda changed. So tell Fambulem how you get into this world business and um, how you fed yourself, how you fed yourself so today. Thank you very much, my brother. Fambulem, I think you got a hold right about my day. I'm a Nina. But um, I joined Mr. Sanko because I me on because I come now I and But um, certainly to my family, we you know so one time gonna be friend of you went of Matatuka and uh, bye bye to so let me get from it. I want and copy it. Let me get up and start again. I'm going to plan. Get talks and get the food and some cash. And so let me tell you, if you come with your storm side, you know, so then meet up. You can be the man in the night. So at the end of the day, you know, the crew will come. The car for sure. Then keep by by then. Then in by that time, we can. We did it for five years. Me, I was small at that time, but you see, I actually can come there, look the house, she's all the fine people and everything. Then, on my mama's side, we call me, my papa, and my papa, and my mama, and my mama, my mama, and she wants to stay in my hand, and over the same APC, and my people again, like, uh, my team, my mama, and my supporters, you know, they get for all of them, they killed me, and put me in anti man. So definitely things become a papa being 
to the ability then three, four months, something like one month, then they pay them. So things become difficult. You know, I'm from three, I've been at 10 for streets. You know, I've been on six from three, so I go holiday to be a big system. So a big system, I'm beginning to move on.
شوف طاوله الشوي شورتس شوف طاوله
What did really happen when you be the command? Or how did you command? How did you try to protect life and property? Well, um, I can't take command sheet now when Mr. Sankobi left Canada. I don't think when the Canadian people and the people here for the protect the city lives there. And which I I enjoy, you know, up to the time of the ceasefire. So we've been the we've been the different research for that and we will be the kind of that first push day. And why other brothers then don't go that way? Because we can't have a job, how best they are no they are no job, no member, no bond. You know, people can say no 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 we need money here like this. But we shall be responsible that who can come on show us to the key command. The command to the target commanders during the attack. But if you look at the war from 1991 to 1996, you know, you know the atrocity, you get control. They have left, you get control. For example, you get control by the IOF. Only the commander will be the bigger because in a powerful, we need to go You know, so we feel that we respect the commander and the moves. We need to protect life and property. Yeah. But when the Great problem, God, the plan of the fire, and everybody is just one of you know, in the peace before election. And if before election, all the crimes that we commit, what the rules of today, and we put them so far from the crimes there. Okay, one, one, final, one final question before I come back to you. Like, I mean, this is very interesting story, and Famule, as soon as who key figure way longer down in the books of history? We begin a yet unborn, 50 years from now, 100 years from now, 200 years from now. This is story where people are here for the year. And we're so proud of present to the Syrian people, and Unadi Yeri is the best. One final question before I go to Ibrahim. Um, between 1991 and 1996, the country, the civilians, and protecting property. We after this, this can be about 10 things. What really, really happen? You know, yeah, for that team begin to also because 1991, 96 people and be still glad for now. 1996 upwards, things begin to change, atrocities begin to commit. What did really happen? One, it's money one, it's money two, we are in peace. Election before peace. That is called the problem. And the, uh, the current president, the president of the National Bureau, and Mr. Fury Sanko, the late Mr. Fury Sanko, for this time, the army of the SLA and the civil defense force, we don't know what we are asking. And the election for them take place. So, no kind of for no people of science, no for us, or for us, or for us. Okay. And one of the main factors, the main factor, after the period of the, 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 the peace accord, then Mr. Sanko will have to go arrest and leave, because they see two to run and back, they arrest them, you know. Then the end of Sanko will now come to the peace commander, the Bush commander. So that was not the end before the air passes and it came back to him. What's in the relationship? What's in the relationship between you and Sambo? Because both of you were commanders and very huge commanders on our two people. What Sambo look like the most fear someone, even though you said your name be the name. What's in the relationship? Did you try for caution general and the talking from a civilian perspective? It can be quite different of Sambo. Despite he's dead now, the way I've been prosecuting the war. Yes, I did. I did. Even uh, in the trial, one of the scenes, you know, we can sign up with my son I found a book, uh, uh, one of the more course made in operation to the peace process. You know, 
Bila kau orang macam tadi Dan pasal Sungai Fisha ni South East Sungai Fisha ni Dia nak pula You know Dia kena main jauh ni We need a mission job You feel You know You need to clap You know If you come on You like You like safe When you are Okay You know When you come You know You know You know You know In fact You know You take you From Chinese and back You know So That is the thing And bring all the thing And you know The confidence Don't be in the end You know Then we try for you know provoke money. Then somebody not going to touch you. We provoke up. You understand? So that that's bring the air first. Bring the air first. You go through. Then try to come the army to to make sure it's in peace. Yeah, I think it's answer that question. So what's in the real world where you play as a sergeant, um, Ibrahim? Bazi Kamara, what thing are you here and all where you play in Alak Kude? Now you go for Denver Road and go ahead for Free Johnny Paul, now you take the state house, what thing are you here and all where you play? My sister, you know where you are going to go? I'm going to be in my duty headquarters and I'm in my office. Today I'm in the work and I'm in my charge of headquarters security. I'm going to be in the school and come to me. You know, I'm going to put the headquarters under control. They ask me to join the page. You know, then we move. We go to the bar and get twenty four, take out to state house and all that. That's how I get to where we to be first. Okay, um, William. So, um, for what matter, short before I go back to Uganda General Issa, um, that whole day where you play and subsequent for that whole day, maybe you end up in um, Uganda. You were indicted um, for crimes. What tell people? How you end up there? How come you end up there? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not the I'm not the best man for me here. I'm not doing anything and I'm continuing for that. That is my activity. You understand? If you come by responsibility, come by responsibility. I cannot command. Maybe you see what has passed. You ask me to stop being a sergeant. You know. Me, I listen. I cannot command, for example, I cannot command the brigadier. It's not possible. They are command the captain, you understand? So, I, when, when they arrested, when, when this war comes, after the, 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 the NPR, uh, so, yeah, if I, we go to John, we reach the Masheka, the chief of defense staff and army, and the BD, These are the people who will be command. I don't want to be the command. That means I'm going to push. You are going to end for seeing a faction of the world. And you want to move army. Then you're going to push. You understand, sir? So that's where the army will be pushed. We are just going to be sergeants. Can you imagine for that? You cannot be in the army. The army will be to read that. You understand? So when you're going to be Yeah, when the people try to put together, so we are just in the vehicle. The train, just in the train, move it. You know, we go to reach like uh, Makini, Makini, Kabbalah, Kabbalah. We come back, we go to the people who are going to carry on. You understand? We go to the people who are going to carry on after some time. When you end up in Liberia, they come on this ceasefire, you know, they come back three times. So when it comes to that, when we come to the end of the day, we turn out, we come out, we turn out, you know, give me small, small, small prison for those who are in the world. The main thing is that we come from the world, we come from the main thing is that from the state army, when we come to the government, they try to get the state army, because the army people don't know how to serve 20, 30 years, you know, they just abandon the way they disbanded. So then people enjoy the move on. So the important make sure we come back and we stay there. We some of you we see. You know what? You know, no stop. You know, you know. Other people then they stay there. People man, but you know, we now I don't know because of some of us popularity and all that. Then you find yourself now. But the individual responsibility is the courts. What we do. No body who can't speak. Because they put me committee, I mean, 
we they show the people that we we blame to they say we are far better than you and we not go go down the route where you go but we get mind for embrace you all not together and take this nation when they call Sierra Leone forward these people they committed crime when they were pretty much young like you are in the case of general this we can general that's such a big time too. but you need to ask them particularly and you need this to be for yourself i'm the beginner young man finish school on cool cool plots on their sister and end up on the other side because there was nothing doing equally why i see the world different from the beginning we don't say they try for deny we don't say it take a different tone but it was a necessary evil at the time so like i say a contrite in spirit as in for forgiveness if you say mercy for the union people this opportunity now let you speak directly to the camera directly to the sierra leonean people and most likely the current is his excellency retired brigadier julius maravio we are believe say we able for help because i really close before the camera studio the president to intervene he can ask okay he can make recommendation he can request so what are you speak to the camera speak to the civilian people come there to be honest uh, the family uh, uh, so in my northern okutoko uh, and mumani district you know Committed. Today, 
will not hear from them blame game at all. We hear for can you read directly from you and the other as to the sentence who are just half of us and contrite you guys are and they being from we can see and it's just psychologically you know you kind of feel like um, if you don't serve them kind of time in the day you must have had time for reflect and now here you try to ask people directly and take responsibility for your action at the time by apologizing for the crime which you've done and if they appeal to the head of state and are nothing saying you say let them feel now when I just want to come out now we wonder who put out a dinner prison right now because the conditions are not right and things are found at home. This is exactly the way I understand this is that correct. 100 percent sir because uh, the judges of the special court sentence me for bearing the greatest responsibility of putting that to a mean country or a sector. But the, the judges, they are not giving me other punishment. For now, the 11 years, why don't you, because at this moment, they make a 11 years, why don't you, I wonder, you must know what things they become difficult for me, many others, they think they become difficult for me, when you get to the register, you need to complain them, even now, medication is a problem, because we are not fixing a problem. You know, condition is just a big issue. You know, you know, but you know, the president, you know, the president should be picked up on the big because you are looking for three bad people, let's or some sentence as alone. And this will be because of condition now. If I remember myself, we prefer to be no sentence. Nothing about international. Nothing about international. But I only do take matter for myself, my money, or matter for us. Aha. You know, now we're in a really good story. So, what's in the international? What will they want? What will they put on? As if you're in a really high and they put for me. So, it better not go south. We sent him to the salon of many governors there. We did put you first. Can't say it again. Yeah. Yeah, this is an international broadcast. As they are not broadcast, they can go really fast. And hopefully, President B. You will hear or one of the advisors, then we hear or one of the ministers, then we hear it. But when you are the scene at the chat room, I just want to read a few messages. Of course, uh, some people are very um, hostile, but they are few the number from which you are the scene. But the good side is a lot of people they show sympathy. As I can see, Sister Anne Marie Bintu to me, you are forgiven, my brother. I hope you can peace and be able to exercise, exercise your demons. Um, Mobio, General Issa, you saved my mother's life in Makini during the war from the hands of the RAF. I'm indebted to the last statue free. There we go. There's a mixture of emotion. Some people are complaining. Others, they in the good favor of the former general. He did save somebody and I sure said to eat and eat and So anyway, back to you, Ibrahim. Um, what is your feeling about the people in Nicola? Well, uh, thank you very much again. We I mean, uh, one story I get for the people of Salon. I think I'm very much because the people of Salon are uh, waiting up on the other question of being somebody or not pointing at any person again or any people. We are not only responsible, we are not only responsible for what the army do during this time of the war. Okay, for me to meet the people of Sierra you know, we are not familiar with people from my background, they look at my rank and all that. I'm not the right person, but I'm not going against the courts. The need the court is for Sierra and it's for the people of Sierra Fine, for each the same, the people of Sierra let it for now as no south. No south, 18 years almost now, we going back from 2003 when I was three, you know. And if you look, so the first, we play a role, you know. If the army has stayed too bad today, they disband the army, you brother. Can you imagine people who don't serve how many years? They disband the army. We have to bring them back to the functional reserve. You know, we know it's here, we know this. If it's here in a salon, you brother, take down the free side of the month. If you want to demand the free, you need to point another good screen. So just the free, come back and see itself. You know what they say from a monitor, all in a...
Oke, oke, oke. Bear with me one minute. All right now, that's all right. <laughs> Um, um, I'll be one at the pause the program um, for today. So we don't hear it from General Issa, the former RAF commander and actually um, a leader of the RAF after Corporal um, I don't know whether I left Camp Freetown or after the incarcerator. So we don't hear it from them. And um, there's another two we just sit down before I switch over to the program. We now another ge general Maurice Calon, and um, um, the other one is known as Five 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 Five. Another famous, infamous, <laughs> famous for some people, but infamous name. But um, a name obviously. Nah, uh, he was a corporal in the SLA, and most of whom are going to know him. So, now being Paul Santigi or Santigi or Kanu, aka 5-5. Five five. Very big name during the, the Kansan song back in the, in the 90s. However, I want to halt the program here because um, it's another hour plus where then two there they can talk, but I promise you now. I will definitely bring the program back on another on another day. Definitely bring the program back on another day. And I will announce that day very soon so that we go end this program here from the other two people there. But what we can do program there, like Benwaya, to be honest, I can want for you, especially for the comment box, waiting for be really, really see. I can I go look for you waiting family actually they see waiting and think waiting at their opinion waiting at their perspective and things like that I would really like for you read that so that this will help for shape opinion perception of um, um the direction we one head the kind of feeling where we get for supposedly um expressed um remorse from the, the people there who once on a at a time, once upon a time rather, been command the entire country and people live in fear. But that was then. This is now, if you know what I mean. So Fambule, once more, I will announce the date we, we will listen to Brigadier Maurice Calon and um, um, Corporal Santigi Corporal Santigi Bobo Kanu, aka five five. Okay. Um I apologize for the inconvenience because I know say some people I really want to read them, but I get some I get something some um, um, work contents for create, and um, definitely go we'll bring this part two to now. We will feature the other two man they will not talk, and these people are still in Rwanda. They serve some significant sentence, forty five years I believe, and. Um, they don't do about 21 years now because at the time of the interview, this interview is about three years old, by the way. And at the time of this interview, they had already done something like 18 years. So if we had the three years we don't elapse since then, they've done something like 21. And can you imagine? They've got like 24 more years um, um, to go. So the next time we we'll air the second part of the program, I will really like for let we interact and um showcase on our messages them on a feeling i mean we need for express them and also we we'll don't express these feelings once upon a time but at the time where the feeling being raw and you know say we mutter man them once we don't sit down for think and we let the emotion aside and let rationality take over the propensity for think rationally then of course decision we'll make will always be rational okay but I appreciate all them when they were tuned into the program tonight. And I promise that I will bring the program of um, um, part two. Let me just see a few comments. And after the comments there, then we go wrap up. Um, um, okay, somebody they asked, what's the name of the book he is talking, he's talking about? 
I don't get the name of the book, but it's written by Daniel Opande. Daniel Opande, I believe, was one time the first commander for UNAMSIL, the United Nations uh, mission to Sierra Leone. General Opande was, um, I think, a Kenyan. Yes, he did write a book about his experience. But I think we can Google easily. I could have done it myself, but I'll give you the assignment to do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Moses Kamara, this is a question um, for why did Fode Sanko entrusted the leadership of the RUF to, to him instead of Maskita? That's a good question. Unfortunately, Fode Sanko is dead. Um, um, Maskita is dead. Um, they are all now deceased. I mean, the two of them, General Isa, is still very much alive, but it will be a one a own account of the story. But definitely, there are many other people. Mike Lamin still did. Mike Lamin did Scotland, Roman free. So he knows the story, and you're partly waiting Isa see. But that's a very, very good question and very provocative one as well. Yeah, but do like that question, honestly. Ishmael Kamara, it looks like they are. They are being treated with great care in Rwanda because they seem to be in great health. Um, well, obviously, I don't think so for two reasons. One, they are far away from home. So on the inside alone, I don't believe you feel good, and especially with dinner prison and dinner prison for that long time. In terms of being treated, well, I think General Issa says something regarding that, that they are not being treated well, um, except when they look at them from probably we own side of the prison. Let's say if you've been there by Road, <laughs> you probably mean they're not going to look like how they look. They probably will have looked emaciated and hungry and hung, you know. <laughs> but um, um, according to him, it's no. They are obviously missing home and they ask if they can serve the rest of the sentence back home or some intervention, you know, for pardon. But like I say, next day, we go talk about um, many things there. We will listen to General Maurice Calon and um, couple Santigi Bobokanu, a.k.a. 5-5. Five five. This has been a TNN TV media production. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's continue to tune in. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We operate both on Telegram. You can find me on Twitter, always tweeting. Um, we do live um, shows on Facebook. So find me Facebook account, please, if you will. Subscribe. Subscribe, follow us, or like our page. Follow or like our page. We, do, we also do on YouTube. And if you look at the ticker scroller at the bottom of the screen, you will see we have various handles a day, like Facebook and YouTube. So on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe. And not only subscribe, but also I'm kindly asking you to share the link with other people and ask them, if possible, uh, whether there's a possibility for subscribe. I mean, we have, have to do this for one another. This is networking. We see all the do. I'm like the Nigerians, for example. Um, of course, they are a massive nation, almost 300 million people. So 1 million, 10 million, not to nothing. So you can see one funny video, one or two minutes. It's millions, you know, yeah, will have watched it. But let me water we own down to proportionally we own and then, how do you call it, with your population? I mean, of course, why can't get 100,000 then? It does not necessarily have to be a million, you know, one-tenth of a million. That should be fine. Anyway, like I said, this has been a TNN TV media production. I thank you all for listening. Um, we get many programs that come on our way, and um, they are all going to be interesting as usual. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, the economy, social, political, and um, community, business, you name it, everything that you think of, as we were doing. We know we've been to talk more about politics, but maybe we'll try for make a 50-50 or 75-25, more community-based, okay? 
But many thanks once more for watching. On behalf of the channel, a salute to all. Until we catch up again. Bye for now.